We always talk about Black Friday, but don't forget, the day after is the lesser known Small Business Saturday. And it's probably more important because it's a day to support local businesses in your communities. Cameron Nakashima with the Better Business Bureau joins us to explain how we all can support local businesses this weekend. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, Sarah. So for folks who are don't know much about Small Business Saturdays, can you explain a little bit about what that is and how it all started? Absolutely. So it started back in 2010. Uh, American Express created this day. Uh, they're the, the official ones to, to kick it off. And it's all about highlighting and supporting and shopping at the small businesses that really help make our small communities uh, and our neighborhoods what they are. And uh, so far, it's been a great success these past 15 years, having a big uh, economic impact. And according to American Express, uh, they tell us that for every dollar spent with a small business that is recycled back into the economy, uh, or sorry, uh, 68 cents of every dollar invested is recycled back into the local economy. Better Business Bureau is a big fan of this, and we're encouraging it because uh, you know the more that people shop at these small businesses, uh, the, the more it, it helps grow those uh, communities of trust uh, and, and makes them more successful. I absolutely agree. I also love supporting local businesses. And you guys, the BBB, has some really good tips on how you can do that. So can you share some, some of them? Yeah, so here are three tips, uh, or four tips actually, uh, for how you can make Small Business Saturday a success. Uh, so the first one is to look up events and deals that are happening in your area. So looking for deals, maybe that's not such a surprise, but there's usually a lot of events that are happening and you can look up a Small Business Saturday's website, also your local chamber of commerce or merchant associations to find out what uh, kind, of, kind of festivities or uh, you know, organized uh, events are happening surrounding the, the day. Uh, and then piggybacking off of that, tip number two is to invite friends and family to go shopping with you this week uh, as you go around to those small businesses and really do make it somewhat of an event. Uh, unlike Black Friday, this isn't an all-out blitz to just go grab whatever you can get your hands on. Uh, this is about you know connecting with and supporting those small businesses. So maybe do a little window shopping, talk to the, the business owners, and, and while you're doing that, take along a friend or family member. Uh, and then tip number three is don't just shop small, but also eat small, uh, which is to say uh, when you're shopping at these businesses, when you take that lunch break or a snack break, see if you can find a locally owned uh, restaurant as well that you can support uh, on Small Business Saturday. And all the while you're doing this during your shopping and your eat, pardon me, uh, you're eating, look for that uh, BBB seal in the window. You know, I really like that because like coming off of Black Friday, our minds are always on like shopping and what we can buy and all of that. But you can also extend this into restaurants, which is yeah. a really good idea. I really like that. And then also tell us a little bit about how we can support local businesses online. So if you're feeling a little bit spent after Black Friday, or maybe uh, you get halfway through Small Business Saturday and you say, okay, you know what, I'm going to do the rest of this online shopping, you can still support small businesses online. Uh, the big key here is to use location filters. So when you're using a search engine like Google, Bing, or, or whichever search engine you use, uh, search use the, the local search results. You can even uh, encourage that by typing in whatever you're looking for near me. Uh, you can also use uh, Marketplace or Facebook Marketplace or Etsy in a very similar way and shop for uh, shops that are close to you. And then uh, the third tip there is to use BBB.org. We also have a location filter and you can look through uh, any of the ways that I just mentioned uh, for looking up businesses. Uh, you can go to BBB.org and then uh, find out what the reputation is, find out if they are a legit business and if they're reputable that way. Love it. Thank you so much and have a great Thanksgiving. Hey, thank you. You too.